How's it going guys, my name is Boss Wave, and welcome back to another Borderlands The Pre-Sequel Legendary Weapons Guide. Now this video is going to be pretty special because we're actually going to be going over all the legendary sniper rifles within the Borderlands The Pre-Sequel game, the vanilla game. So if you're looking for the Omni Cannon, it's not going to be in this video, it's actually going to be in a separate video on my channel. I have an annotation on the screen here for you guys and also a link down in the description for those of you people on mobile. And you guys can check that out then if you guys would like to. But uh, anyway, this video is going to be going over the Invader, the Long Nail, the Magma, the Pitchfork, and the Skull Smasher. It's going to teach you how guys how to get all the guns basically and you know what my, some of my thoughts are on the guns themselves. But uh, yeah, if you actually want to click, if, say you're just looking for the Long Nail or the Magma, you can actually click on the name of the gun right now and it will take you to the point in the video where I start talking about that gun. And that way you're not searching throughout the entire video looking for the gun that you're just looking for. But uh, yeah, that's there for you guys. I hope that you guys really enjoy this video, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, and the first weapon we are going to be going over today is called the Invader. Now, for those of you guys who don't remember, uh, the Invader is actually a returning weapon from Borderlands 2, so it's pretty cool that they brought it back in the pre-sequel. But uh, here are the specs here. The uh, damage on it is 17,320, accuracy is 96.8, fire rate is 1.0, reload speed is 2.7, Magazine size 24, so pretty nice magazine size overall for a sniper rifle. It comes in all elements, but here I got the freeze damage one, as you can see. 63,000, or not 63,000, 6,318 with a 30% chance there. And then the red flavor text, the executioner has arrived, means that it fires a burst of five rounds when scoped. So even though this is a Hyperion weapon, it does have the burst, the shot burst effect like the doll weapons have when it is scoped in. And then notably reduced uh, damage, of course, since it does have that uh, five shot burst there and moderately increased magazine size. Now, my sp I had the critical version here, so the 120% critical hit damage is kind of misleading. I should have really went with the melee attachment since that's pretty much the only thing it touches, but um, that critical hit damage is probably different depending on what kind of... Uh, you know attachments you have for this gun I mean same thing goes for all the other specs as well just depending on what kind of uh, parts you have for the gun itself it could easily change but uh, here it says uh, sustained fire and aiming down the sights increases accuracy which of course is a thing with all the Hyperion weapons so but uh, overall you can get this gun in Borderlands pre-sequel by any suitable loot source and the grinder as well but with that information, unfortunately, there isn't a way for you to actually farm this gun unless you want to farm a chest or something like that because there is not a specific enemy in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, that has this gun as its dedicated loot source. So, unfortunately, you won't be able to farm that specific enemy or boss to get this gun, but you should be able to get it by any other loot source, including the grinder itself and, you know, chests throughout the game. So that's pretty cool there, but uh, anyways, let's move on to the next gun. Alright, so the second gun we're going to go over today is called the Long Nail. Now the Long Nail is a legendary sniper rifle manufactured by Vladoff. Damage on it is 16,743, accuracy is 95.1, fire rate is 5.7, reload speed is 3.5, magazine size is 29, so nice big magazine size there, but that's given with Vladoff pretty much. And then it comes in all elements, but I have a freeze one as you can see here. Freeze damage per second is 6318, while the freeze chance is only 30%. Now the secret effect on this gun is Nailed It, which stands for all parts except for elemental capacitor are fixed. Shots bypass shields, inflicting damage directly to health, decrease damage, increase fire rate and capacity. So this gun basically penetrates shields 24-7. If you use it against an enemy that has a shield, no problem, it's going to go right damn through it. Um, you have the moonshot or the moonstone ability that gives you over penetrating shields and you just don't need it with this gun you might as well just pick out a different one or if you can get a different bonus you you you'd be better off because I mean this gun gets it anyways it's not like it gives you a higher chance or anything like that if you have that on there but um, pretty much everyone knows about this gun just because it was unveiled at E3 when Borderlands pre-sequel was you know pre-release pretty much and a lot of people like this gun I honestly this is probably one of my favorite guns in the game in general just because of that effect I think it's really cool but uh, to get this gun anyway, it drops from the Empyrean Sentinel. You can get it from any other loot source, but it has a high chance to drop from the Invincible Empyrean Sentinel in Elisir. Now, if you don't know who he is, come on, guys. He's the final boss in the game. Just go there with the Moonstone and pop it in, and that way you can get the, have a higher chance of getting this gun. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for the long nail. Now we're going to move on to the next gun. Alright, now the next weapon we are going to be going over is called the Magma. Now the Magma is a legendary sniper rifle manufactured by Maliwan. And as you can see here, it kind of resembles another legendary that we know of from before. Now the Volcano from Borderlands 2 is pretty much the same gun pretty much, but they decided to make some changes with it in Borderlands the pre-sequel. They made it a little bit different and decided to call it the Magma, but visually it looks pretty much identical. Now the damage on this thing is 31,692, accuracy is 96.8, fire rate is 1.4, reload speed is 3.1, magazine size is 10. Uh, now it only comes in fire, so you can only get this gun in the fire element, you can't get it in corrosive or cryo, but uh, the burn damage per second is 63,100. Yeah, 63,118.2, and then the ignite chance is 50%. So that's a pretty high chance there for the ignite chance. But uh, keep in mind when you're out there in space, it's kind of hard to get the dots when you're you know out there and, and there's no air. So you, this gun's really only effective in uh, areas that have air. And then the red flavor text there is uh, liquid hot, which stands for always incendiary, of course, increased splash damage and elemental chance. So that's pretty cool there. And then you know deals bonus elemental damage like I said before but uh, anyway to get this gun it really doesn't have a boss that you can get it from so again it's kind of like the invader you just got to get lucky and hope you get it from a chest or the grinder but uh, unfortunately like I said there's no boss that drops this gun unfortunately but uh, still a pretty cool gun I think it's all right that they brought it back from Borderlands 2 I just don't like the fact how they changed the name like I, I mean who cares if you want to make the gun a little bit different you don't have to change the entire name just to make it a little bit different but um, you know it, it is what it is but uh, the cloud fire infects 80% of listed weapon damage and is affected by skills that boost grenade damage so this gun's pretty cool because it I mean it can be affected by those those two things there but uh, occasionally the dot actually tends to glitch in the game so you, there might be problems with that if you are ever using this gun but um, as far as builds that I think would work well with this gun probably Athena just because of her fire and and um, electricity build I'm not too sure about Aureli just because it's the whole fire sniper and it doesn't really you know work out that well with uh, you know other other builds I guess but uh, anyway that's pretty much it for the magma now let's move on to the next gun Okay, so the fourth weapon we're going to be going over is called the Pitchfork. Now, the Pitchfork, I'm sure all you guys know about from Borderlands 2. It's probably one of my favorite snipers in general just because of how awesome it is. I'm going to go over why here in a second. The damage on this thing is 23,146. Accuracy is 97.5. Fire rate is 6.7. Reload speed is 3.1. Magazine size is 18. I have a shock version here, as you can see, but it comes in all elements, so you can get this in cryo if you wanted to. Shock damage per second I have here is 63,000, not 63,000, I keep saying that, 6,318, the electric chance is 30%, and then the uh, red flavor text there says mainstreamed, which stands for fires five horizontal shots in a line shaped in a V-shaped pattern and consumes only two ammo per shot. So basically, you're firing five bullets for the price of two, and that's a really good combo there. Especially if you want to take out large groups of enemies at once. That's why I like a shock version just so I can take down their shields and that way get them all, you know, weakened pretty much before I can take them out with any other guns I might have or maybe even another sniper rifle that I have that'll help, you know, clear them out as quickly as possible. But it's a pretty awesome sniper rifle as you can see here. Now, unfortunately, like the other two sniper rifles I mentioned earlier, the uh, invader and the magma this does not have a dedicated loot source which means it can only be obtained through the grinder or through a lootable chest source or another boss or something like that it does not have a dedicated loot source unfortunately so really no way to farm this gun but uh, still a nice weapon to have if you ever get your hands on it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this gun now let's move on to the final weapon so the final weapon we are going to be going over here today is called the Skull Masher. Now it's not just a returning weapon from Borderlands 2, but it's also a returning weapon from the original Borderlands game. Damage on this thing is 17,017 times 6. Accuracy is 86.7. Fire rate is 2.6. Reload speed is 4.0. And the magazine size is 9. So it's pretty small magazine size, but um, you know, overall it's a Jacob Sniper Rifle, so it's kind of to be expected. And uh, as you can see, there's got the minus 66% weapon damage, but plus 180% critical hit damage. The red flavor text there, a real head turner turned to mush, ahaha, ah, ah, which uh, stands here that it shoots a group of six projectiles with decreased damage at the cost of one ammo. 
So decreased gun and also has decrease on gun accuracy as I mentioned before. But um, yeah, basically this thing shoots six projectiles for the price of one and kind of splits the damage between those projectiles amongst each other. I mean, not really, but um, the fact that, that's, that this gun has lower damage because it had shoots six projectiles, kinda. So imagine if you just had those those six projectiles into one big projectile that's times six. A lot of damage right there, but uh, anyway, this gun's alright in my opinion. I'm not sure if I would really use it. I'm not really a huge fan of the Jacob sniper rifles, but I know a lot of other people might be. So, you know, just give this gun a try. I mean, you get this gun from Nell in Regolith Rage, and, or Regolith Range is what it's called. And it's, it's from a side quest, so basically you just go through do the side quest and, you know, you kill him, get the gun, pretty much. And then that's how you get the gun. But, I mean, it's not a guaranteed 100% chance. You just have to keep farming him and hoping that you get it. But, uh, for the most part, I think it's a cool looking gun, but I've never really tried it out. So, I can't really say too much about it, you know what I'm saying? But, um, give this gun a try. If you guys think it's awesome, let me know. I like to hear about it. But, um, for the most part, I've never really tried out this gun, so I can't really say much about it. But yeah, that's going to be it today, guys. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys did like the video or if it did help you out a little bit there. You know, I'd really appreciate it. I spent a lot of time working on this video, so if you guys could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. My name is Boss Wave. Be sure to subscribe for more Borderlands content, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.